Here we are with Southwest, Southwest Florida Mopars Plus Annual Car Show Chariots for Charity. And here we have Tom and his unrestored, all original 71 Duster 340H code. And if you will give us the story uh, when you bought it and uh, just the background on the car. And, it's, and this is like, this is true all original sheet metal, original yes, paint. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. I was in the Air Force station in Wichita, Kansas, and I was looking to uh, replace a 67 Chevelle I had, and uh, I shopped around and decided on uh, Plymouth Duster. My wife and I, who we were just dating at the time, she was with me. I wanted all black. She chose tawny gold metallic. Mm -hmm. Being we were dating, we compromised, and that's what we got. And I'm glad we did. We're still <laughs> together, too. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So this is a H code 340 and original stock condition. Um, and it's amazing. You can see the seam sealer coming through the paint. And this car is phenomenal condition, Tom, for being original. And you were in Kansas. Uh, looks like the car was maybe garaged most of its life. Or... Well, I'll tell you, the first couple of years, I was on an Air Force base and I couldn't put it in any kind of garage. Mm. So I got an alarm system, which back in the 70s, that, yep. was that primitive <laughs> thing. Yep. <laughs> nice. And that's how I protected it for that time. In fact, there was one time we had a massive snowstorm. Snow was up to here. Wow. I couldn't move it for four days. <laughs> I did open the hood, it was solid snow. Oh, so it all blew up and... But it fired right up. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> Very nice. That was one of the last times there was in snow. Wow. That was probably in 1971. Amazing. Okay. Yep. Yep. So that was in 71. The rest of the time it's been yep. tucked yep. away because... Then I got out of service in 72. And I'm originally from Cleveland, Ohio. Moved uh. up there. And was up there for 27 years. But at that point, I could afford another car. And I had another car to go back and forth to work. And this sat at home. Oh, I that's... use it to go to the store. Third car. <laughs> sure enough, Wichita, Kansas. And now it uh, sits in my garage under a cover until I go out, like on a day like today. Oh, excellent. Show. It's got just over 33,000. Oh. 690. Wow. 33,000 original miles. Yep. Pampered, beautiful miles. And you know what it really gets me about this car, Tom? Is how shiny that original factory yeah, paint this is. Factory paint. Yes, that's. It's as smooth as the glass. It is. It's incredible. I've never used a buffer on it. It's yeah. Been hand waxed. Oh, okay. Yep. So that I, way you I preserve. All kinds of waxes. <laughs> I bet. I got probably twenty of them. And that's probably what's protected the paint so well. Yes. Yes, because you look in here, and it's all these nice little details right here. Undercoating. Wow. Here's a unique thing. Yes, that looks like uh, California emissions, isn't it? There's no emissions on this. Oh. But that was only in 1971. Oh, okay. Must that be was a, a selling point from the, uh, the salesman at the dealership. Oh, okay. So when you're putting gas in, it don't oh, it's, spit it, out at you when it clicks off. Oh, got it. Okay. And believe me, it works. Yes. It works. Yep. So now, let's 72, the air you look at, there's a 72 here. You don't have that. And they don't have that either, yeah. huh? And oh, that, it looks like a little factory stamp right there. That might there. have cost them, what, $10 for that part? They yes. eliminated it. Outstanding, Tom. Well, I'll tell you what. You've got yourself one beautiful duster here. Well, thank and, you. And I want to thank you for bringing it out and showing it to everybody. And, You're uh, welcome. And outstanding, sir. Thank you very awesome. much. You have a great day.